What's up, boo? Gay? What's up, baby? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a tourist between the 16th and the 31st of October? If y'all want some, just go get it. Why you stuck left feeling all? I can't have it. Well, maybe they let go. Well, maybe they're not going to talk, so I'm not going to talk. Who does that? A crazy person. That's who. This will be for my sun, moon, rising, as well as for Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Taurus. Um, to those of you who are new to my channel, hey, boo, hey. <laughs> I'm Mocha. Also, if you're new to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little. I cuss a lot. It depends on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing is not what you like, you don't want to hear that, this is not your channel, and I still love you long time, okay? Um, Y'all, this is not a personal. It is a general read. If you need a personal, I actually got a reading special going on. Save your $15 off. Save your shmoney up until uh, the 15th of October, and it's only for my 30, 45-minute, and 60-minute sessions. Um. You guys, thank you so much for the, uh, for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Y'all, I truly appreciate y'all. I love y'all very, very much. I really appreciate y'all for allowing me to share my light and my wisdom, you know, towards situations in your life, you know, as well as share my gift with you all. I love you all so much, so family. To new members of the family, new subscribers, y'all, we a little dysfunctional. We cry sometimes. We don't fight, we don't fuss, we leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuz. We grow, we love, we evolve, we share, we enlighten. You know, if you see someone in the comment section going through the same thing or something that you that you overcame or you hurdle, reach out to your brother. Reach out to your sister. That's what we here for. That's what we do up in here. We family. Pride don't exist because you can't buy shit with it. Let's get it. So for my Tauruses. My Tauruses. Y'all, a lot of healing is going to be taking place during this time, during the 16th and the 31st of October. I do see some of you could be healing situations with your father if you are a father, okay? I do see a lot of you all feel like there's a blockage to your abundance or maybe you feel there being a block, especially with having to do with your children. Okay, or maybe connecting with your children's mother or father. Take it how it resonates, y'all. Um, a lot of you all want to heal a situation, but you're needing to heal yourself internally, y'all. There needs to be the stabilizing of self internally, really healing that vibration of feeling like, you know, rejected or not accepted or not understood, you know, or not wanted. You got to see the beauty within yourself in order for you to project the beauty that others need. You, you got to pretty much show, you got to lead by example how to show motherfuckers how to treat you. And I feel like a lot of y'all have been in that period of your life and you will be going into a new cycle. Okay, and, but it's going to take blind faith and optimism and you're really just being true to your passions. What do you want? If you want a, if you want someone, you have them to heal the situation. You can't buy anything with pride. It don't really, it don't take you places. You understand? Pride don't take you places. I don't give a damn what you heard. Pride don't take you places. Did y'all hear me in the back? Let that shit go. Pride don't take you places. Some of you have a fire sign in your energy. Strong Saggy baby vibes. Sagittarius. Some of you all feel that this person is your soul mate. And for some of you all, you're absolutely right. Some of you all have a Sagittarius twin flame. Some of you all the Aries Leo. But some of you all could have possibly been going through a situation, okay? And here you were being stubborn to this person, leaving them out in the cold. You got to be careful how you treat people. For somebody, this resonates. Somebody have to have to learn through a karmic situation. You got to be careful how you treat people. What will make you laugh or make you cry, okay? Some of you all are feeling left out of somebody else's world. Some of you all are needing to make a judgment call in your own life. Do I continue to be defensive towards this person? Or a, a keep accepting or allowing them to be defensive toward me? Or do I say it with my motherfucking chest and move on with them or move forward away from them? With knowing that I still have my respect, my integrity intact. Some of y'all need to put up proper boundaries with people. During this time, your third eye is going to be pouring out information left and right. 
Some of you all will be starting new jobs during the 16th to the 31st of October. Congratulations, y'all. Because I ain't going to lie to you. It's been quite the journey with finding jobs with all the crazy shit going on in this world. You guys, a lot of you all are rising like the motherfucking phoenix, baby. Some of you all, I keep hearing the song, Who can I run to to fill this empty space? Who can I run to when I need love? Some of y'all, some of y'all finding out you do have a refuge. You always have a place to run to and you're never alone. Your spirit guides have been forcing you, literally moving you to do something. But some of you all, you've been running from commitment. And then, boom, you meet the love of your life and they, they put some act right on your ass. Or you do to you do it to them. Some of you all will be finding out that if you've been dealing with a fire sign, this person can be pregnant. Some of you all, it's an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, congratulations. Because Mocha love the kids, man. Love the kids. I feed them fried chicken and lollipops and shit. Don't leave your kids with me because they may come back with some fat thighs. <laughs> I love babies. But some of you all are afraid to take that leap of faith, okay? It's judgment time. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Because for some of you, it's either moving forward away from someone and moving forward towards... It's moving forward with someone new or fixing a family situation for a lot of y'all, I see, okay? I do see... Stability is coming towards the situation. For those of you who couldn't be with someone in the past due to financial reasons, that's all going to change. But it's up to you to drop the pride and be real with your damn self. For some of you, and it's also up to you to really speak on and accept your truth. Do I want to stay in a relationship due to my children? or do I, and, and be unhappy with this person? Or do I want to move forward? Still heal the relationship. Heal my co-parenting relationship, have that relationship with my children, but with the understanding, respect, and mutual agreement without having to do or accept no fuck shit from nobody who don't want to be held on to. Decisions, decisions. Just have more faith in the situation. But some of you all, you need to heal a situation with a teenage boy. Some of you all have a son. This, son, this person could be a your baby could be a Pisces. Some of you all, you have a spiritual responsibility. Some of you all are spiritual counselors, spiritual advisors, or you in some type of counseling work, and you've also been having some type of internal conflict within yourself about healing the situation. Again, decisions, decisions. It's judgment time, baby. What you going to do? Some things that you thought were sw swept under a rug. Some of you have a water sign in your energy. You and this person have a very telepathic connection. But some of you all, this person... It's definitely a soulmate for you. For some of you all, this person um, has life partner energy on them as well. But it's up to you, for some of y'all, to save the situation and truly bring it to fruition. Because I feel like some of y'all has been dragging your feet or this could be in your energy, the other person doing it to you. During this time, a lot of y'all got options. But some of you have to make the option between moving forward possibly with an Aries that you have children with that you want some type of family dynamic with. Some of you can move forward or move on from a controlling situation with an air sign. I feel like the communication there is very sharp. This person is very loving, but they also very arrogant. And this person could also put you in three-party situations because both of y'all got options, I see. Even though both of y'all have the intentions and the want and the desire for a family. But it's about you really speaking your truths and really letting this person know, I accept the fact you're not shit. But I don't got to allow your ain't shitness in my world. Period. And I'm not going to choose to be here for the kids because if we both be responsible, the kids is good. And they're going to be good. Some of y'all could not the narcissist. Spirit, what messages do you have for my choice? June the 16th and the 31st of October, what can they expect? What's coming in love, finances, any area of their life? Yeah, some of you all are ending karmic cycles, okay? Some of y'all are definitely ending the way, healing things internally, okay? Stabilizing yourself, okay? For some of you all, you definitely have a decision to make. Will you go the way of air? Will you go the way of earth? 
But some of y'all will you go the way of water and some of y'all will you go the way of fire. But you definitely, some of y'all definitely got two, two, two parties to choose from. Some of y'all want to move forward with a fire sign, but you may have uh, a family with a water sign. And this person just really wants to hold on to you. I feel like this person, some of y'all could also be receiving the um, offering love from a, another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like this person is very stable. They're very comfortable. This person is very nurturing to you. Yeah, there's a lot of passion there. For some of you all, you have that 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 damn Leo is coming forward to make this offer for some of y'all. Don't be running from this Leo. They ain't taking no from. They ain't taking no for an answer. And some of you, you're going to have victor, a, a victory in moving forward with the Leo. But you're needing to accept, acknowledge, trust, and have faith. Okay? Yeah, y'all definitely got Some of y'all could even be seeing two, two, two. Things are coming into balance for you all, especially around your finances during this time. Some of y'all have a decision. Some of you all are going to have a decision to make when it comes to um, a job situation. Some of you actually have two choices. Both things you're passionate about, but I feel like. One of them has to do with your life purpose, and one of them has something to do with people pleasing, what other people think you should be doing. And it's about you standing in your truths. What do you want to do? What are you passionate about? What do you see yourself being successful at? But some of you all, some of you all are feeling left out of some type of, some of you all are feeling rejected or neglected during this time, possibly, um, possibly by a Libra. Or through the court system, like something having to do with the court system. Maybe some of you all could be um, actually ending your divorce or actually starting to go through a divorce, possibly with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, it's an Aries or a Pisces as well. Okay, but some of you all, somebody let go. And it was them letting go that let you know they set their boundaries. Or towards maybe you set your boundaries with someone else. This could be a Virgo as well. But some of you all, you have a fire sign, especially if you have children with this person. They want to reconcile with you. They want their family back, Taurus. They want to fix some shit. But it's up to you to forgive and really be real with yourself. You can't buy shit with pride because you can't tell me you don't love this person too. It's a lot of love and a lot of a, a lot of love. It's a whole lot of nasty sex up in here. As far as you and this you and this person have some sloppy, wet, nasty sex, and y'all gonna have some during this means retrograde. Hmm. That go to T. Boom. Mocha said it. And don't be lying and shit. It's right here, up in here. Don't be lying. I know. Oh, I know. Some of you all, some of y'all, for some of y'all, it's a Scorpio. Some of y'all are indecisive about going into a new cycle or ending the cycle with um, either this earth sign. This could be a Scorpio as well. This could also be Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of y'all are cutting off Gemini Libra Aquarius. You're just tired of going through. The love and war games with them. That's what I'm hearing. Love and war. Some of you all, foundations as you knew them, they're having to fall. Either you or this other person is setting boundaries. I love you, but what I will not allow in my life is lies, three-party situations, half asses. You to give me half that. Some of y'all are very internally conflicted about Starting a new beginning and moving forward, possibly with the Leo. I feel like this person actually had two choices as well. You and a fire sign got two choices to choose from, or this fire energy, they have a decision to make either between you and another. If you're dealing with air signs, that could also be the case. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So some of y'all are feeling like you're not the chosen one, but for some of y'all, you're the chosen one by spirit because man's rejection is God's protection. Remember that. Yeah, some of you all, it involves the Capricorn. And some of you all, this overthinking, this not making the decision. But some of you all, what you're doing is you're not making a decision. Or this could be an air sign doing this to you too or a fire sign. They're not letting you know what decision that they made or you're not letting somebody know a decision that you made. You're just actually just still letting things flow. And spirit is not going to keep allowing someone's feelings to get juggled with like this. Things are ending so new things can begin. Some of you all, for those of you who have your own business, during this time, business is going to boom. A lot of y'all need to lose that lag mindset. You have more than enough. Be grateful for the things that you have, okay, so that you could allow spirit to know that, hey, I am I am receiving. I, I'm, some of y'all are really, really manifesting your money, 
and it's looking real good during this time. But you're very internally conflict when if in conflicted as far as it pertains to love. Some of y'all really, really, really want to reconcile with the with the mother or father of your children, but you're really in your head about the situation being toxic again. Y'all going back into arguments and shit. Some of y'all been arguing over finances with this person or some form of stability. Stability is all here within the stability is here as a major foundation, but what needs to happen is communication because with all of these damn cards on this boy, y'all, I see what? One, two, three air cards. I see a lot of moving away, but not a lot of communication. I see a whole lot of blocking happening, but not talking. I see a whole lot of stalking, but not talking. Folks is watching, but not saying nothing. Some of y'all need to get y'all life. Some of y'all dealing with Aquarius as well. Somebody in your energy needs to get their life. This Sagittarius, this Pisces. Y'all gotta nurture, y'all gotta nurture family situations a little better than what you're doing and stop operating from a place of pride. Cutting somebody off or blocking somebody does not bring a solution. It brings a solution if you don't have no feelings with this person and you really want to cut them off. But just because you mad, stop making long term decisions for temporary feelings. Spirits say y'all need to hear that. But some of you, go get your fire sign, baby. You and this person can go into a new cycle, but you need to internally heal. Stop taking this time and looking at the situation like, oh, they left me out in the cold. They did this here. Make that judgment call for yourself. Make the judgment call to first accept the fact that I'm never alone. I'm not alone. I just got me some time to really fall in love, embrace, get to know, get to love myself again. No time in a relationship is wasted time. It just gave you more time to accept and realize what the fuck you will not accept. Okay? Period. It's how you look at it. But if you want something, go get it. Because faith, faith, trusting and having blind faith, baby, and trusting your intuition because it's booming, is going to take you places. You can't buy nothing with pride. Stop being defensive. Truly, truly, truly get real with yourself. What you want, Taurus, because you can have it. It's yours. Faith is truly going to take you to some joyful places. That's what I'm naming this video. This is what I have between the 16th and the 31st of October. If you need a personal reading, hit me up. I am available, y'all. I love y'all very, very much. I send y'all many blessings, much love, much light, much abundance. Namaste. Bye, my babies.